welcome back to Sailing with Zephyr 4. First let me say how surprised I am that the first video has been so popular. I never expected that. Lots of views and so many people subscribed. Thank you so much. Please keep watching and subscribing. During the last season there were a few things that didn't work too well on Zephyr 4, so this winter there will be a few changes and improvements. The first is the chart plotter. Though this showed us where we were, the screen was a bit small and it wouldn't interface with the autopilot or show AIS data, so I looked for a replacement. The very latest Raymarine units look great, but they're expensive and provide more than I need. Eventually I found a C80 chart plotter on eBay, which would work with the existing sensors, and as a bonus it also came with a radar scanner, so I bid and eventually bought it. Good morning, it's uh, just gone 8 o'clock on a winter's morning here in Derbyshire and just about to get in the car and go down to Essex to collect a second hand radar so it's going to be uh, sort of a 320 mile round trip in the electric car today the car's been on charge all night and uh, it's fully charged now, ready to go Here we are at Newport Pagnell um, charging up at an Ecotricity charger and for free at the moment they're not charging I don't know why that is but it's very nice thank you very much well here we are um, at uh, Redline tuning and I've got me I've got me radar up the radar's in the back there and uh, and the uh, that grey thing down there is the is the logger so that's pretty good we've had a smashing time here there's Richard who's in charge and this is uh, this is redline tuning they do wonderful things to racing cars you've never seen such good engineering as they've got here it's absolutely fantastic they are that so if you've got a racing car this is the place to come well I've got the chart plotter home and uh, connected it up to a, a spare 12 volt battery and we're just about to see if it uh, if it will do its stuff Well, that's a start. We've got the, uh, the, the start-up screen uh, and it's now uh, giving me a navigation warning uh, to say that you're not really supposed to use this as, uh, as your main source of, uh, of navigation. You ought to use maps as well, so I'll press the OK button and there it all is. Uh, we can uh, zoom around a bit and, uh, and look a bit more. There we go. And uh, if we zam over here, we'll get somewhere near where uh, where Zephyr 4 actually is. That looks like the other one. There's the Solent. And that looks like Portsmouth Harbour, no, that's it. Yep, that's Portsmouth Harbour in there. So that's uh, that's all right. That's the uh, the charts that came with the with the chart plotter. Next job is to uh, attach the radar and see if we can get that to work. But uh, we're doing this in my kitchen at the moment, and uh, I don't want to operate the radar in my kitchen. Uh, they do warn you about looking at it when it's running, so uh, I'll put it outside on a on a chair and uh, see uh, see how that goes. So uh, back with you in a minute. I did test the radar and it worked fine, but somehow I didn't manage to take any video of it, I'm sorry. Just charging uh, Pertree services on the uh, A34 on the way to the boat. Uh, set off this morning about uh, 7 o'clock and it's now uh, quarter to 10. Good morning. Uh, heard from the riggers at the weekend, uh, at the end of the week, we say, that they uh, finished the work on the mast and the boom. Got a new gooseneck and all sorts of stuff like that. So yesterday, I came down yesterday, uh, despite the weather not being all that stunning, and uh, Bill and I managed to get the uh, the mainsail bent on, and we've got it all tied down with tie wraps. Uh, ready now on Monday to ring the sailmakers and they're going to come and measure 
for a new stack pack and cover. Um, the, uh, the existing stack pack, the old stack pack, is just too small for this sail. It doesn't scrunch up like the old sail did. And in any case, it was getting a bit tatty and uh, uh, was probably ready for renewal. So, there, so that's, uh, that's the job uh, for, for, for Monday. Uh, excuse the noise going on in the background. Uh, we've got a fair bit of wind down here at the moment uh, and it's going to get worse apparently today and, and uh, there'll be some rain. I've been and done some shopping this morning before the rain comes and I've, all the work I've got to do today will be uh, down below so uh, not going to be a problem. Have you ever rather wished that you hadn't started a job? Uh, this, is, um, this is the uh, electrics in Zephyr 4, or part of it anyway, and the intention is to fit a new chart plotter. And uh, so this is how far I've got at the moment. It's just a question of trying to find out what all this wiring does. I guess I'll do it eventually, but it is a bit of a worry at the moment. And then it got worse and worse. Did you ever see so many wires? And all of them are unlabeled. So job is to find out where everything goes and label it all up. Well, we've made some progress today. Managed to get the chart plotter mounted. A lot of woodwork involved in carving a hole for that to be made. And next job is to put the uh, the front panel back on there again but I've got to obviously because the chart plotter is longer than the previous one I'll have to chop a bit off so I've still got to do that um, everything's still working which is quite amazing really here's the uh, here's the chart plotter screen it's actually showing uh, the boat in the marina how about that then well there we are all back together again and uh, all working which is a, <laughs> a bit of a relief really but uh, that's good uh, I like the I like this plotter an awful lot better than the uh, than the old one much much bigger screen better better charts the whole thing looks really uh, really good so ready to go soon It's even windier, sure. We're uh, at fairly low tide at the moment, so sheltered by the uh, seawall tucked away here in the marina. Uh, on shore, it's hard to walk against it. And it's going to get worse, apparently, so I think I'm going home tonight. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. There's more to come soon when I investigate the internals of the autopilot and also some low price synthetic teak decking. Thanks for watching this episode. I've added this sailing bit at the end, taken from last year's video, just to remind me, and maybe you, why all this winter work is going to be so worthwhile in a few months' time. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Maybe if I get enough views and subscribers, I might actually get a few bob back from YouTube. I can dream.